Hello everyone, question five on the 2018 paper one. Um, let's see how we go. So the boys from class 10A did a cross country run. Here are their time in minutes. What was the median time? So it's lucky that we've got the circle your answer option. The first thing we need to do is we need to order these numbers. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. There's 11 kids here. So our first one, our lowest one, 19.5. I'm going to put them in little boxes just to help me out. Uh, 22.3. Uh, we've got 24.6. 25.4. That's done. That's done. 29.2. Okay. I mean, normally you'd be able to write all of these out. No problem. I'm just taking a bit more space. I'm just going to go down now. We've got 31.3, 30, 34.5, 35.0. I'm going to write the point zero. 36.4, 39.6, and then finally 42. Okay. So the median, we've got 11 bits of data. Add one is 12, divided by two is six. It's the sixth value, which will be the median. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 31.3, it's one of the options. So we'll circle that. Work out the interquartile range of the times for the boys from class 10A. So let me just flip to my highlighter here. So this was our middle value. Our lower quartile for this set of data is going to be the middle one of the middles. So that's going to be LQ. And then the middle one of the upper values is going to be UQ. So 36.4 subtract 24.6. I'm not taking any chances. There's probably a catchphrase of mine. It's a bit worrying. Uh, 24.6. So that's 11.8 once we pop that into the calculator. Super. 11.8. Right, the rest of the year 10 boys in the school also did the cross-country. The Brox and Whisker diagram shows the distribution of their times. Compare the performance of the boys in class 10A with the rest of the year 10 boys. So um, I'm going to call this group B just for ease. And the top bit, was it A, 10A, 10B? Oh, we'll call it, oh God, I'm going to call it group A, group B. The examiner will know, I've made it clear, that's fine. So, right, group A had A, right, we'll compare the median first. So this is 33, and these guys, 31.3. So group A had a faster median of 31.3 as opposed to group B, who had a median of, that was 33, wasn't it? No, it's not 33. Check the scale always. So 30 to 35, this in here is 32.5, 33. So that is actually 34. Glad I checked it. Had a median of 34. And then we're going to talk about the variation. So here, the interquartile range, 37, oh, so that's 38, subtract 29.5, 38, take away 29.5, gives us 8.5. And then in that higher group, their interquartile range was 11.8. So group A had a higher IQR which is 11.8 compared to 8. Was it 8? I was worth that as 8, 8.5. Therefore, had more variation. Okay, and then we could go on to talk about the range. I would potentially just do that now. Um, just to ensure that I'm covering all bases, really. I don't want to make any mistakes. 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41.5, 41
And that's 19. That's a terrible 19. I'll draw that again. 19. So 41. Take 19.5. This is the range. So 41. Take away 19.5. Gives me 21.5. Uh, and then scroll back up. What's the range up here? 42. Take away 19.5. That's 22.5. Is that higher? 22.5. Yeah, again. So they've got a higher range as well. Um, so I'm going to say this is also true of the range. True of the range. 22. Point, did I say 0.5? Yeah, 22.5 compared to 21.5. So group A. Show more variation. So really important that we've mentioned here, faster, because this is a race, cross-country run. The lower the number, the better the score. So, and we've made a comparison of the median, the interquartile range and range compared both bits, put some context into it to ensure that we've got four marks. All right, that's question five done. Hopefully, see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe the videos or subscribe to the channel.